Welcome to Pure Mind Magic, the show to evolve your mind. Our mind is the most powerful thing we have, but no one teaches us how to use it. When we find out how, we're ready to create magic in life and in business. Learn real mindset secrets from brilliant minds around the world to change your mindset and income level forever. With every decision you make, you create your future. What is your next move? Now, welcome your host. Host, international magician, speaker, and podcast performance consultant, Jennifer S. Royal. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Pure Mind Magic Podcast and another midweek motivation for you. When you're new to this show, I would be so happy if you could hit the subscribe or follow button of this show, because with that, you won't miss any of the new upcoming episodes. Today, I picked another film I wanted to talk about, something you can learn about and a film that I found quite inspiring. And when you heard the last midweek motivation about the film Limitless. This is kind of similar, but it has a female main character and it deals with what would happen if we could access instead of just around 20% of our brain capacity, actually 100% of our brain capacity. The name of this film is Lucy starring Scarlett Johansson and Morgan Freeman. It's really a great movie and when you haven't seen it, please go ahead and do so. In a few moments, I will talk on what you can learn from the movie and probably can implement right away in your life to access more potential from your brain. I have some other good news for you. So this weekend coming up from the self-publishing university, a very cool summit where I have the honor to be one of the main speakers. And the topic of the summit is traditional versus self-publishing, which to use. So in case you are an entrepreneur, consultant, coach, or already an author, you can learn a lot from that. So Corinne Lafont is the creator of this summit and also the founder behind the self-publishing university. She's just an amazing powerhouse personality. It was great recording with her and she will be also soon on the Pure Mind Magic podcast. So you can expect to learn a ton about publishing when you are in the process of writing your book or have your book already scripted in your mind. And it's free to attend while the summit is going on. And then afterwards, you can purchase an access ticket if you like. So I will leave a link below this episode in the text. You can just directly click on it to get a one day pass and gain a lot of new knowledge. What makes a lot of sense with this very episode, because it is a lot about gaining new knowledge and new skill sets. So I highly recommend that. Check it out. The Self-Publishing University, the summit, and it is happening on March 31st, 2019. This will be this Sunday. For the agenda and all the times, just check out the link below. This will also take you to the main page of the event. Hope you got that. And now let's talk a little bit more about Lucy. So I found interesting things from the film, but before I share my insights with you, maybe a little bit about the story. So as mentioned, the main character, this time a female, Scarlett Johansson, is kind of an anti-hero. So she starts in a very different place where she finally ends up. So she gets into this whole story almost by accident because she gets asked by a friend to do him a favor and just deliver a suitcase in a hotel like to the mafia and of course she she resists and she doesn't want to do it and finally he forces her to do it 
with handcuffs and she has no other choice than to deliver the suitcase. And with that, she gets into this whole process and into the story and she is supposed to deliver drugs by flying on an airplane, but the drugs, the drugs are implemented or put in her stomach hidden there. Also, a few other men are on the same mission. And she got kind of trapped while heading to the airport. And she got punched into the stomach and one of these containers get damaged and the drug gets into her blood. And with that, she opens up and is able to use more and more of the capacity in her brain. So she starts with about 20%. And then over the film, you see all the stages when she reaches 40, 60, 80, and in the end, 100%. I won't spoiler how the movie ends and what's happening next. So just when you haven't seen it, go and watch it. It's really amazing. And Morgan Freeman plays a very cool role because he is a university professor who is exploring the human brain and he is talking about what could probably happen when a human would be able to access the 100% full potential of the mind and the brain. So these two characters work very well together and there's a lot of suspense in the movie and turning points. So it's really great. And of course, there would be the question, what would happen or how would our life change if we would be able to use more of the 20% capacity we do have with our brain? And it's really horrible that it looks like the attention span of people is getting worse and worse with this only eight seconds and everyone is really distracted all the time and just a few people take the time to sit down and do some deep work without any distractions on something that is really important and something they would really like to make happen. So let's see what can we learn here. First of all, it is said, use it or lose it. Your mind is like a muscle, meaning when you don't use it, it is like with the muscles in your body, they get weaker and then sometime they almost disappear. So it is very important to train your mind, your memory. It is like when you are taking different ways to work, to your office, all that trains your mind, breaking out of this routine, everything you are used to on a daily basis. And as mentioned, it's about training your focus and getting rid of all the distractions. It's really, really easy. And I just can recommend that you put your phone on airplane mode when you set up some time for this deep work. And a great tip here is to really schedule this in your calendar, because if you don't do it, it won't happen. Other people even suggest that you schedule times for reading and also times for working out because when it is in your calendar it is very likely to actually happen then so a quick tip here then another thing is that it is very important to take breaks to avoid being exhausted when you're exhausted, you have no energy and you won't come up with brilliant ideas and you are more into the mode of just reacting to your surroundings and everything that is happening around you. So you are no longer the creator and the kind of person that is in charge and making the decisions and acting. So you are more reacting. So take the breaks and it is like that our brain really needs this time to process all the information we are taking in on a daily basis. And, you know, you get information all the time from wherever you are. So you are got bombarded with information and give your mind a break to settle down. It's also when you're sleeping at night that all the new information gets sorted in your brain. 
quick tip here, take some breaks between working. So I very often refer to this 90-minute rule, what makes also sense with the movie here, that it is really great to work in this 90-minute blocks, very concentrated, and afterwards take a 5 to 10 minutes break before you go on to the next 90 minutes break. There is another principle called the tomato principle, and I created an own episode on that, so you can check that out. This comes from being a magician because it is like training for 25 minutes or doing something for 25 minutes that's really, really intensive, and then take a break before you go into the next cycle of 25 minutes. And there's a timer in this episode, you will find a direct link on the tomato principle timer. So you can use it on your phone, on your computer and just hit it and also create some to-do list with it to get done a lot. And you will be surprised how much you can really do when you don't multitask. So when you're a single task and put your full, att full attention to just one thing you are doing at one time, like being 100% present in the moment. This brings us to being mindful in what you are doing and also being mindful about what you are taking in into your mind, into your brain. So we all know that it is imp important what we eat on a daily basis. And when you only eat junk food, it is like, well saying it like that, garbage in, garbage out kind of thing. So this is very logical to a lot of people, but not everyone is aware that the same is true for our mind and brain. So watch what you're taking in on this daily basis, whether it's in movies, in news you are watching, things you are reading. I mean, you have the choice and you could also go for inspirational books, for things that motivate you, for nice videos on YouTube that motivate you, that have great insights, maybe on this whole brain and mindset thing. So this will help you and the choice is yours. I mean, you can go down the path and watching all this negative news, but it is like food for your brain. What you're taking in, you can expect likely the certain outcomes connected to that. So decide wisely on your brain food here. Then what I really like also is what can we do more to access more areas, more potential of our brain. And there is one cool thing that is called think bigger. And also very cool, thinking big doesn't cost you anything, but it trains your mind to think in bigger dimensions. Don't think so small and think what you're always thinking. Really think big. Whatever you're doing, whatever you are aiming at, think bigger. So, I just read whatever you have in mind, what you would like to earn in the next month, or let's say this year, put a zero to it in the end. So this then really feels scary in the first moment. And it is because it takes you out of your comfort zone. You ha So you have to grow to this level, but think bigger. Also think when your life would be on your terms, exactly how you would like to have it. How would it be? Think it through. And while you're doing that, you will notice that this is really a great training for your brain to access more, to think bigger, not on the small terms, really think big. And no one knows what you're thinking, so you're completely free. You can make it really, really huge. So try it out. This is a really great exercise to get more potential out of your brain. Then... What I also really like is, that fits very well with the title of this show, it is Mindset. And it starts there, actually. So see yourself to perform better, that you can do better. And think of yourself that you are becoming more intelligent and knowledgeable every day. So it starts in your mind. As I say, there's an origin for everything. Think it. It is your mindset. And you will notice that the surroundings are like reacting differently to you the moment you change your mindset. So I always 
tell this to my students in school when I'm teaching them magic there. So I say, when you leave this room today, think of yourself that you are more intelligent. So they are like between eight and 12 years at the moment, but it's really interesting. So when they come back, I can notice a difference there in their appearance, in their performance. And yes, you just make the decision in your mind. So decide to change your mindset. And there are always different perspectives to how you can see something and how you can see yourself about your inner self-talk, your inner monologue. So decide for the right mindset. Decide that you can learn very easily. It's just convincing yourself you will believe that when you think this thought often enough mindset will get you more access and more potential out of your brain. Another thing is using your imagination. I often refer to this podcast here talking about J.K. Rowling, the author of Harry Potter, because she says that imagination is the most powerful resource we have, almost like a superpower. So try it out, really imagine things. It's like this thinking bigger in your mind. And it's about your connecting your left brain hemisphere with your right brain hemisphere when you go into this imagination. And I mentioned that before as well, that your brain can't tell the difference whether you're just imagining something or it's actually happening. It definitely works with trauma because when you just imagine things that happened in the past, your body will come up with the exact same reactions you had during the actual trauma. So I don't recommend doing it with that, but turning it around because you can do it the other way around, like imagining really great big things, things you would like to have to do. And there's just one simple trick. Decide to feel better. No one else in you can do that. Just decide to feel better. It's also your choice and it's the first step. And of course, as I mentioned in the beginning, talking about the publishing summit, it's about learning all the time. Obviously, the more you learn, the more connections you can make in your brain. We know that between two brain cells, when there's a connection, it's a synapsis. And the more you're building, the better network you have in your brain and the more things you can do and the more things you can see, actually. So learn whatever you can. Also tap into completely new fields you have no clue about. This will also train your brain to understand other things. So study whatever you can. This is really the best. So knowledge still is power. And you heard me say this before. It's about implementing the knowledge where the magic kicks in. So learn and implement. Take your knowledge to the, to the test. And you also know when you are acquiring this new skill set that there is this learning curve involved. So Probably in the beginning, it will be horrible, but it gets better every time you do it. So I learned that from magic, for example, with my card tricks. So first in the beginning, it was really horrible. And I thought I will never learn this sleight of hand thing, but then it got better and better and you will make the same experience. And when you really perfect it, one day it will become automated, like it will be performed from your subconscious mind like when you are driving your car right now, when you're not 18 and uh, doing your driver's license at the moment. So that's the process. Learn whatever you can. Learn from books, learn from audiobooks, learn from online courses, learn from live seminars, learn from mentors, coaches, whatever you can. Be like a sponge and take in all this knowledge. And then change the world with it and change your brain with it. It is said that we actually can rewire our brain. So this is the work of Dr. Joe Dispenza. We can like rewire everything, write new programs for our mind. And with that, we get more access and we can accomplish more. So because 
when we see it like that, we all have more or less the same hardware. So this thing, this brain in our mind. But it is unbelievable what some people are capable capable of doing with their brain and others don't. So this brings us all down to it's not about the hardware, the brain itself. Exceptions uh, excluded, of course. So it's all about the software. What kind of software do you have installed in your mind? And you know, for example, with Adobe, so there are coming updates all the time. And when you are using any kind of online software services, cloud solution, then you always have the option to upgrade it, right? And when you are really interested in something, you do that. You upgrade it, you pay for it, and then you get better service. It's the same with your brain. So use your hardware better by really installing to say it like that, the best software you can have and upgrade your software in your mind on a daily basis. And with that, it's pretty clear that your brain will work on a higher level. And in the last midweek motivation, I told you something about that because Limitless was about this pill you can take to access more potential of your brain and especially your memory. And I found similar things that are completely legal. It's just supplements on Amazon. And I will repeat the two links of the things I found in a form of capsules. You can try that. So it's basically more vitamins and everything that helps you to boost your brain power. An organic tip here I have for you is uh, I'm really on this path right now, doing my own smoothies every morning. They are still yellow, I have to admit, but I just heard on another episode that the best thing to do is to get something green first thing in the morning. So it would be meaning to change the smoothie to the color green. So whatever comes to your mind, what you could mix into your smoothie, try it out. This is another way to enhance the performance of your brain and your mind. So I hope to you got a lot of things out of this episode, maybe something you can try, whether it's the smoothie or thinking bigger or just changing the mindset and thinking of, of yourself that you are smarter from this moment on. Just think it, believe it, and your world will change in a way. Then also take away my hint to learn all the time, wherever you can, from whatever you can. In these times, we have really access to the knowledge from brilliant people and real experts in their fields from around the world. So use this access to your advantage. Also focus, don't get distracted too much with everything you're doing. Take some regular breaks during your work and shut your phone into airplane mode from time to time to really have all your concentration and your focus in one place. I think that's it for today. And let me know how it goes, how you liked the movie Lucy with Scarlett Johansson and Morgan Freeman. And let me know when you manage to think you have access to more than 20% of your mind. It's actually, of course, just numbers, but you will have a different feeling, I'm sure, when you learn more and apply some of my tips here. So it would be great to see some of you during the online summit from the Self-Publishing University. Hope you like my talk there I'm giving as a speaker. I will talk about how you can use podcasting, obviously, when you're an author to combine a very strong alliance between the written and the spoken word. So this is my signature presentation I'm giving there. And as I said, the link will be below this episode. So you can sign up for for March 31st, 2019 to access this summit online live. Now, this is really it for today. And I have another episode for you prepared, an interview on Interview Friday this week. Until then, create some magic. Magic.